Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Y'all get to do my makeup for me today. All my makeup is up to you guys. So I'm curious as to what you want to see. I put my ring light on, but it's dead. So I have to let that baby charge. Do, 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 do. I'm curious to see what kind of look I end up with, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. What colors should I use today? So this one is all about what products you want to see, but I do want to incorporate um, at least one splash cream shadow, one and one uh, hottie lip plumper, and then of course I'll use my epic mascara. But beyond that, y'all get to choose what I do. So I'm curious. Come pick my makeup for me. What colors should I do? I usually do my eyes first, so we should probably start there. So, for my crease, what should I do? What color should I use in my crease? So that is the first question. What color am I using in my crease today? And let's see if I can get some people in here. Going to go ahead and invite some people to come hang out with me and do my makeup. Come and do my makeup. My makeup. I would love it if people came in and did my makeup for me. Told me what colors to use. So starting with my eyes in the crease, what color am I going with? Hmm. I'm just adding people to come in and hang out with us, chat up a bit. Let me know what color they would like to see. I'm just adding people, adding people, adding people. Okay. 
hello. So what color should I use in my crease? I'm curious. Actually, let me. I have a few different um, pressed shadows that we can choose from. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi. How's your Monday? Hello. So, we are going to have some fun. I want you guys to choose my makeup today. You to choose the color, stuff like that. And you know, after we get done with my eyes, we can figure out whether 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 or not we're gonna do like a full face. But starting with the eyes, what are we doing um, for a crease color today? I want you guys to tell me what you want to see. And while you guys decide that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye primer on. I am putting 100% faith in you guys. So what color am I putting in my crease? goodness. Be right back. Okay. Okay, dokies. <laughs> what are the choices? Okay, so I have a bunch of choices. So we have this palette right here. So let me just kind of show you guys the palettes first. So this is my 25 palette that doesn't have all 25 in it because they're all spread out through other palettes. Hey, Danielle. Right now we're picking a crease color. This is the quad palette with the shades that currently come in the kit. So we got some crazy, we got like a crazy bright color there, which I've used before. And then we have my eight palette, which has some fun colors too. Oh, if I can open it. There we go. So we got this one. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty widespread. So those are the options right there. So we got these colors. Picking a color for the crease, color for the crease. We got these ones. Lilac. Okay, so I'm guessing you're talking about from the 8 palette. So how about this? We do this in numbers because the names don't show up really well on this screen here. So we'll do it by numbers. So the top, top row is 1 through 4. Bottom row is 5 through 8. Because I'm horrible with the names of colors here. I think you're talking about gifted, but you could be talking about slick. Three or eight. Let's see, do I have a coin to flip in here? <laughs> All right, so, so either Agile or Gifted. 
We could do a mix of both, you know. We could do a mix of both. Do you want to do that? Do you want me to do a mix of both of those? Totally do that. Let me get out my crease brush and my blending brush because there's going to be some blending happening in here. Pull my hair back. Not that I can do much with my bangs because you know, my bangs are my bangs, but. And actually, just in case we do decide to do a full face, I'm gonna go ahead and put some face primer on. Because I never know what's gonna happen. All right, so we will do both of those. Crease has been decided. All right, let me put my face primer on real fast. This way my face primer has time to sit in case we decide to do a full face. Like straight up, you guys are going to be the ones deciding what I do to my face today, so. Alright. Wow. So let's go ahead and start with the darker color Agile. Let's see. My mirror here. My handy dandy mirror. Handy dandy. With my bang out of my way here. Hold my eye in place. So we've decided to do two different crease colors. So this is the pressed shadow in Agile right now. And it's going through the crease. All right, so now we're gonna go with Gifted on top of that to give it a bit of a shimmer. Actually, I should probably grab a second crease brush just in case. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go over it to give it some shimmer on top. You like sparkly? Yeah, this is a nice shimmery color. It looks gorgeous on top of Agile. I wish my light would work so that I could show you. Let's see if it'll work now. All right, let's see how long I got battery life for. <laughs> But yeah, see, it makes it kind of, you know, nice and light. And it's a really, really shimmery color. You like it? Awesome! Alright, so now... Let's talk about our eyelids, like the main lid. So for that, we're using a cream shadow. Do we want to go with a shimmer for the lid or a matte? What do we want to do? Don't mind my Pepsi. A shimmery shade or a matte? I have like everything in drawers, so. Let's go 
with the shimmer. All right, let me get my shimmer drawer. Do we have an idea as to what kind of shade? I have all kinds of shades here. I'm gonna go with a pink. Let me see if I have like a red, a red shimmer. What do we wanna do, what do we wanna do, what do we wanna do? I mean, depending on the color that we choose, we might be able to actually do both matte and shimmer, depending on the shade. So I'll just go one by one and show you guys. So you want to go with the pink? Okay. So we got one vote for pink. Let's see what I have for pinks. I have Hopeful, which is like a baby pink. It's nice and shimmery. I've used this several times, actually, this month. Let's see. What else do I have? That's not pink. It's like a purplish gray. What are you? Nope. Your skin tone. You're blue. Seafoam green. <laughs> I got seafoam green here. It's like a bluish white. Like the color of a cloud. <laughs> You're purple. What else we got? What else we got? Yeah. Oh, that's black. We ain't looking for black. We're looking for pinks. Tenacious. Yeah, you're like an orangish gold, I think. No, you're bronze. You're an orangish gold. Are you noble? Oh, yeah, no. You're definitely not what we're looking for. That's a green. What we got? What we got? Ooh. Mm. I know we said pink, but. We got Defiant. Uh, I don't know how well that would go with it though. What color are we in? Nope. So do we like, do we like Hopeful for our pink? For the shimmery color? We like Hopeful, yes? And then, I'll go ahead and put that over there. Because it's in my way. And then I'll pull out my mat and see what we can find to put underneath it. So we're going with like a pinkish color. Alright. Do we still want a mat under it? Because like seriously you guys, we could go all out crazy with this. It's your look. It's not really pink. Mm. No. Well, maybe. I don't know. Pull it out. Keep it off to the side. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. Ooh, jubilant. That might work. So it's another option. I have the hiccups, so don't mind me. I'm over here, like, hiccuping like crazy. Oop. A little bit of both. Yep, we're going to do a little bit of both the... Alright, so we can do a matte with a shimmer. It's totally cool. I'm just right now going through um, the ones that would be kind of close. I'll, I'll show you what shade that is here in a second. I'm just kind of going through and figuring out what we could do that wouldn't be like... Okay, I'm going to put this over here so that I know not to put that away. Um, I mean, we could try it. We could try that one. We could try it. Alright, and that's a no. Alright, so here are the options for the matte shades to go underneath. We have an apologetic, which is like a reddish color. Unapologetic. We have bittersweet, it's like a peach, it's like a corally peach type color. We have jubilant, which is you know, kind of yeah. <laughs> or we can go all out and do a rapturous, do like a purple underneath our pink. 
Aqua, we have one last color called Faithful, which is like a brownish color. So do we want like a brown, red, something closer to a skin tone? What are we looking for? Which one? The purple? All right, so we got one vote for purple. So I'll fill this one in. Any others that we could be doing some random vote between? Oh, all right, we got both for purple. All right, so let me go ahead and put these bad boys away. Um, actually, put them together. This goes here. I don't even know where anything goes anymore. Wait, what? Yes. Okay. So, we have our matte and we have our shimmer. Let me put this drawer away here. Let that kind of sneak past my camera. What do I do with my other drawer? My other drawer is right in front of me. Alright, so I'm going to move that to the side. Get me a couple of shadow brushes. And by a couple, I do mean three because that purple likes to play with me. Okay. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. Alright, so we're doing the purple. Okay. Okay. This purple likes to play with me. It's not very nice. It's not very nice to me at all. It picks on me. But I love it just the same because it's purple. I mean, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. It's not my favorite color, but I do like to play with it, so it's okay. Alright, so let's get this purple in here. Kind of try and tease it along my eye, my eye lid. See if maybe I can kind of blend it up a bit towards the crease. You guys like the way that lo that it looks with the crease colors? You know. You like the way it looks? Perfect. Oh, come on, Jordan. Stop putting too much on your brush. You know you hate it when it happens when that happens. Right, this is where that other brush comes in. For when I have trouble with blending it. Doesn't always happen, but when it does, I keep another brush around to stop that. All right. Okay, so now it's time for that pink shimmer you guys chose, and then we can choose a color for eyeliner. All right, pink. I've used the pink a lot lately. Really, really like the pink though. It's really, really pretty. Alright, so we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna kinda dab it on over the purple. So, what do we think? Are we like the way that looks? I'm loving it. I love to hear that. That's awesome. All right, so we got our pink shimmer in there. Yeah, you guys did good. I'm loving your choices. Ta -da. 
All right. So what color eyeliner are we thinking? We can use, um, actually, put the brakes on the color part. We can use a cream shadow for an eyeliner, or I have liquid eyeliner or a pencil. Are we using liquid, cream, or pencil? Probably pick those first. Well, that's good, I'm glad. And then, you know, pull my bangs forward. All right, so are we doing cream, pencil, or liquid? What we doing, what we doing? You like how the black looks? All right, so I have a black eyeliner in pencil. I have black eyeliner in, let's see. There's two different types of liquid eyeliners that I have. I have one that's like a pen. I have one that's a dip and draw. So this is the pen one that I have that's in black. And then I have, there's my black dip and draw, there it is. Then I have this one. It could be kind of kind of fun. So I got this one right here. Or we can use a cream shadow, in which case I have an eyeliner brush. Completely up to you. I actually should probably just pull all of them out. <laughs> The pencil. When we do pencil, first option. All right, we're doing pencil. We are going pencil. Thing I have got to tell you guys. I absolutely love, love, love our pencil eyeliners because they're smudge proof and cry proof. Like, yeah, it's incredible. I love it. So if you're ever looking for an eyeliner and you prefer pencil, but you want it to be smudge proof, cry proof, 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 this right here is the shiz. Okay. Sarah, we are going to attempt to do my eyeliner. I haven't used pencil in a while though. I've been using the um, the cream shadows because we got those new eyeshadows. These are 15 each, but you can also get a set of three and save $5. Yeah, I find eyeliner to be really, really tricky for me. But I have learned that if I can manage to keep my eye open while I do this and just look down at my mirror so that I can actually watch where my eyeliner is going, I can actually keep it fairly close to my lash line and then it won't overpower my makeup and this is like amazing especially if you have creased eyes do your eyeliner I kid you not do your eyeliner have your mirror downwards just look down at your mirror don't close your eye and just watch where the pencil's going as you're lining and it will stay really really close to your lash line if you have creased eyes this will be like the perfect perfect trick so there we go Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely try it and then let me know. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I 
And the cool thing about these is they actually go on really, really easily. I just like to repeat where I put it because I'm really, really picky when it comes to my eyeliner. I'm super, super picky. Like if I don't feel that it's um, exactly where I want it or I feel like I need to move it up or I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I want it to be bolder, I just keep like going over and over and over and over. All right, so we got the top liner. Are we doing bottom liner as well? Yeah. Whoa. We have eyeliner, guys. This side doesn't look as good. See what I mean? There's my pickiness coming out right there. I can see it. I'm just like, yeah, this side doesn't look as good. Okay. Yes. We got it. We're done. We're good. Are we doing bottom liner or? No bottom, okay. No bottom. Bye bye pencil. <laughs> okay, so I normally wait to do my lashes until I'm completely done. So, that being said, am I doing my eyebrows? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Emma, 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 Emma. Oh, move those out of the way. Nah. <laughs> uh. Alright. Okay, so we're not doing eyebrows. Alrighty. So, am I doing foundation? Am I doing a full face? You never do yours. It's okay. Um, for a while, I haven't really been filling in my brows, but I recently went and got them um, waxed a bit to clean them up. But I mean, with like my bangs kind of covering them, it's not like that big of a deal for me. So I really like don't. I don't a lot. It's just kind of fun to do sometimes. Sometimes. All right, so we doing foundation? What are we doing? Foundation? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot of foundation like this week. This week has like literally been, for the most part, eyes and lips. Yeah. All right, so let's just keep it eyes and lips then. So what, um, for this particular look, what shade of lipstick? Give me like a ballpark for shade of lipstick, and then I'll show you what I have. Yeah, I'm just naturally prone to acne. Stress will break me out. Um, eating all the wrong foods causes my breakout. Lack of sleep, actually, surprisingly enough, causes me to break out. Um, anything, really, just causes me to break out. I'm one of the unluckiest people in the world. Like, no matter what I do, I'm going to have a breakout like this right here. This is a breakout that comes and goes. Like, it's just like, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Good God, like, it makes me sit there and think, like, I thought this was only supposed to happen to you when you're going through puberty. I'm done with puberty. Make it stop. <laughs> I just really want it to stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, lip colors. So we're not doing full face today. We're doing eyes and lips. What what color? What ball? What color? Uh, what? Mm, 
Excuse me while I catch up to my brain. Um, <laughs> what ballpark of colors are we looking at for lips? Oh goodness. Yeah, my sister just turned 40 and she's she's got some uh, some stuff going on. Like I like I use um a bunch of different face products that actually have helped kind of control it a bit, but with me acne is inevitable. It's going to happen. It's a thing. But it does kind of help. Something kind of light. All right. So, do we want a something matte? Do we want a stain? Do we want a regular lipstick? Let's see. Let's see. We want something matte. Or a stain, or something else. Like, I will straight up show you all the different lipsticks I have. You have been warned, I have a huge selection of lipstick. Like, huge. Okay, let me see if I can pick up this first thing. So these are all of my mattes. Yeah, these are all my matte liquid lipsticks. They've lasted me for like six to eight hours at a time. We have, there's metallic ones. There's like nudes and pinks. There's, let's see, where, where are my crazier colors? Oh, well, they're sensational. It's kind of like a pinkish purple. Oh, here we go. See, I could be a Smurf for a day. Or oh, we got Spellbound, which is as purple as my hair. Like, yeah, yeah. These are just the, the liquid, the matte liquid lipsticks. These are just the mattes. Now, let me see. Over here, I have a whole bunch of lip glosses, and then I have my lip plumpers down here. This one is actually in my purse. That's why it's like a random. You like the purple? <laughs> but yeah, we got like a whole bunch of lip glosses. Ow, that hurt my finger. And we got these lip stains right here. And then down here are actually duet lipsticks. What they are is they're a lipstick and lip liner in one. So we got these. You like the purple? <laughs> me too. I, I love me my purple. Purple is life, you guys. And then we have these, which are just regular lipstick some um, have shimmer in them the two-in-one alrighty so I will show you the shades I have for the ow for the two-in-one believe it or not there's a purple in there well it's like a pinkish purple all right so the two-in-one here we go all right so this one is called evenly matched so this one this is like neutral tones. So this end right here is the or is the lip liner, and then this side is the is the lipstick. So we have evenly matched. Hitting it off. Here it is. This is the pink and purple one. Ta the purple is the liner, and the pink is the lipstick. <laughs> we have seeing double these smell so good this one is a lighter pink and purple combo it's more like a dark pink and a light pink but there we go but yeah that one's called seeing double think twice I believe is my reds yep there we go two reds Got like a dark red lip liner and a lighter red for the lipstick shade. Um, one of, of 
Wait, what? Of one mind. Oh, there we go. It's like a brown with a dark brown. Or is that brown with like a purple? I can't really. No, it's a dark brown. And then we have tight knit. Ugh. There we go. You can't remember what one was that you wanted to get. <laughs> um. Well, here, let's do this. I'm gonna open them all real quick. And then we will give them numbers. That's what we'll do, we'll give them numbers. So let's do this. So first set of three, so we got one, two, and three. Ta -da. And we'll leave it like two about between those. The last one I had out, I can do that. Hmm. Tighten it. So that one. Put that there. And then I'll go ahead and close these up real quick. All right. I will do that. Let me just put the caps back on these. And then, for the blending purposes, because I hate using my finger for it. Again, I'm really, really picky uh, when it comes to like the application. So I have this handy dandy, look at this, look at this. Tell me this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen. There it is. It's a lip brush that you can snap back into place and carry it around in your purse so that your lipstick for the day, whatever, you know, if it's one of those lipsticks that you do need to use one of the lip brushes for, the lipstick from your brush will not get all over the place in your bag. All right, so this, yeah, tell me it's not like the coolest thing ever. Okay, so this is tight knit, okay. So to apply this, ta-da, so it's kind of like a teardrop. So the point of the teardrop for your upper lip has to be pointing up and for the bottom, pointing down. It can be a little tricky sometimes, so if I mess up several times, you'll have to forgive me on that. I'm not used to this at all. Okay, I feel really weird using this, especially now that I like begin to drool. Every time I do my lips, I start to drool. It's really weird. You like it? Okay. So now comes the part where I use that lip brush. Ugh, there we It is very pretty. You guys chose so well today. I love the colors that you guys chose for my face.
All right, so I want to actually just throw something in there. This is a clear um, lip plumper. It's a lip plumper with no actual shade to it, but So there we go. All right, so now that we're finished with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes here. Lash color, cause my lashes don't like to curl on their own sometimes. Ow, I just jabbed my hand. I don't know what the heck I did that for. Apparently I thought it was a brilliant idea. Okay. We need to pay attention, Jordan. You're so good at what you do. Okay, so another awesome trick that I do when applying mascara and it actually helps keep me from getting any mascara on my eye makeup is again, same thing like with the eyeliners, you keep your mirror like at chin level and you just look down. Like you tilt your head back and you look down at your mirror and it actually helps keep your mascara on your lashes and away from your eye makeup itself. Move my bangs out of my way. I feel like a total emo kid just now. Oh wait, ah! Lash colors. There we go. Yes. It doesn't look weird that I'm looking at you right through my lash curler, does it? No. Okay. Yes, do. It is amazing. And then you'll have to tell me. Tell me when you do it too, because I want to know. I want to know your thoughts on it. I mean, I've heard of some pretty interesting tricks out there where um, people use spoons over their eye makeup as they're applying mascara. Or they put, like, a finger behind their lashes and, like, use it to, like, hold their lashes in place, basically, as they're applying mascara. I've heard of some pretty interesting tricks out there, but... This is my favorite one because it doesn't require me to hold an object on my eye or my finger. And I can just apply my mascara and be good. Yeah, bangs, back to your, back to your places. And I don't know why, I never ever put mascara on my bottom, on my bottom lashes. I just don't. Go ahead and bring my hair back forward. God, you guys, I'm loving your guys' color choices for the eye and lip look today. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so, so much. Oh my gosh. I'm wearing this all day. It has been decided. This is going to be my all day look, you guys. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. Amazing balls. Ta -da. Ta -da. Thank you. You guys, to be perfectly honest, I never would have thought of using two colors in my crease plus two different cream shadows. I mean, how amazing. This whole color combination is all you guys. So thank you so much. You too. Oh my God. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Oh, I will be live again. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Tuesday, right? What did I have set for Tuesday? I forgot what Tuesdays were. I have a thing going on tomorrow. 
I can't remember what it's called, so give me a second. Um, I have a notebook. That's cool. When the heck did I get a notebook? <laughs> oh my gosh. It'll probably be... No. Is it this one? The dailies? Daily tasks, maybe? <gasps> Come on, Tuesday, what are you? Okay, I want you to open. Come on. Come on. There we go. Go ahead and put that down. No, what happened? No. Uh oh. No idea what just happened. It was like opening and then it stopped opening. <laughs> Oh, these were documents. Okay. Hey, it's open. Okay, why is there two of you? Okay. I only want to read it. <laughs> so just let me read it. Oh my god. Okay, Tuesday is. <laughs> Tipsy Tuesday. All right, so here's what Tipsy Tuesday is. It is tomorrow. I will be live. I will probably have a beverage of some sort, but what it really is is me going live with any tips relating to makeup or skincare. So if you have questions about um, maybe a little tip on how to do something or you're looking for a new trick or a hack or something, write them down, send them to me in a message, and tomorrow... Um, when I go live, I can actually go over those and I'll even send you a direct invite to that live so you can get your information live. Yeah. There we go. I might even actually perform the tip or the trick or whatever tomorrow. So that's what tomorrow will be. Tomorrow is Tipsy Tuesday, a day full of tips. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you guys.